Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to make objects move in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight Did to the video. Did you know that you can make objects move in Doodly? The technique I'm about to share with you is a rough form of stop motion animation, but it is fun to use on occasion. I went over it briefly in another tutorial, but I thought we should spend a little bit more time on it today. We can animate any object in Doodly, but you can also create moving text. Today I'll show you both. So let's start with a simple animation where a hot air balloon floats up and away. You'll see I've already created a very simple scene. I've got the clouds in the background and a hot air balloon. So in this example, I do want the hand to draw on the clouds and the balloon. So I think that should be fine. I'll just change the timing a little bit. I want to go to scene settings and I want to make sure exit animation is turned off. So I'm turning that to none and I want to make sure we're at the very bare minimum of extra time at the end. By default, Doodly has it at 0.5 seconds. So that's half a second. I cannot make it any shorter. So we have to kind of live with that effect, the kind of the jerky half a second between these scene changes. It's just the way it is, but it's still okay in my opinion. So go ahead and click apply and we're now ready to duplicate the scene. So you're going to right click, choose duplicate. So we have an identical scene and we have these two durations here of two seconds each. We definitely want to turn that to zero. Let me show you what happens if we don't. He draws on the scene and then he draws it on again. So we don't want that. Let's go back to the first scene. That I want the clouds to draw first. So I'm just going to change that around. So it's going to be hand draws the cloud and then the balloon. So let's go back to our second scene and address this duration. We don't want that. So zero and zero. So now it's just going to go from one scene to the next without any transition and without any drawing. So you'll see it's a half a second scene here. It's just a small short scene. So go ahead and make sure that you're clicked on that. And all you have to do is move your hot air balloon. And then you're going to right click, duplicate, and you're going to repeat. You're just going to move that up again. Again, we don't have to do anything now because it's duplicating these zero durations and the no tr transition here. Those are being duplicated. So I'm going to duplicate again. I'm just going to move that up again. And again, I want it behind. Duplicate seam. Move it up. Duplicate seam. Move it up, duplicate scene. We're almost done and that should be good. So let's take a quick preview. And up, up and away it goes. Now you're not just stuck with these, you know, lateral and up and down movements. You can also grow the item. So let's go ahead and delete all of these. So in this case, I want to make the, it look like the balloon is coming towards us, okay? So once again, I wanna duplicate the scene. Once again, I wanna make sure we're at zero duration. And instead of moving it upwards, I'm just gonna enlarge it. And then I'm gonna duplicate the scene. I mentioned before, if you get to the point where you can't control the outer bounds of the image, just shrink your um, screen size. So now you can get your controls. Let's do one or two more. Duplicate and duplicate. And that looks good. So let's take a preview.
and now our balloon is coming towards us. And that's it. So what about text? Yes, we can move text. So let's go ahead and add a scene here. In this case, I'm just going to use a question mark and I just want the text to wiggle a little bit, okay? So what I want to do is duplicate my scene, go back to my original scene and make sure scene settings exit animation is set to none. Go to my second scene, turn the duration to zero on all and any delays also need to be set to zero. And we're ready to start wiggling our text a little bit. So I'm just gonna move that a little. I'm gonna move that a little. Maybe move that up. Maybe just a tad that way. And then I'm gonna duplicate it. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Just wiggle it just a little. Maybe I'll make the question marks get a little larger too. You can mix and match as you go, okay? Let me just wiggle it a bit. And duplicate. Duplicate. And let's just take a peek here. Okay, see we need to, for some reason that didn't apply so I noticed that these were looking fatter than they should be, so they had transitions. So I have to go through and just make sure these exit animations are turned off. This one should be turned off as well. So let's take a look at our wiggling text. So here it comes. It's pretty subtle, but it, it's good. Yeah, I'd probably do maybe two or three more, but just a little subtle wiggling, and I like that. And finally, let's do some actual moving text, like a credit roll, so to speak. So let's go ahead, have a blank scene, and we'll just make some credits. And what we wanna do is we wanna group them, and we want them off screen. That should be fine to start. Now, I don't want them drawing on. It's just going to roll on. So zero, zero, and zero. Again, scene settings, exit animation, none, apply. Now, we're just going to duplicate our scene. And we're going to select all three and we're gonna move it up a bit. If you want to use the show grid, that's sometimes helpful. So let's say we wanna move it up three squares at a time. So that's gonna be my first one. I'm gonna duplicate. I'm gonna select all three again, and I'm gonna move it up one, two, three squares. So I'm just using my arrow key to do that, duplicate, again select all three, and then I want to go up to here, three, so one, two, three, I'm just using my arrow key once again. I find it's easier to use the arrow key on your keyboard than your mouse because you'll just go completely straight up. You don't have to worry about drifting to the right or left. So again, three, duplicate, select them all, move it up three more. It's very tedious, but it's easy and you'll get through it. The more you do it, the easier it becomes. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward while I do this. And there we have it. So now when we preview, we'll have our rolling credits. Let's take a look. Here they come. 
And that's the basics of moving objects in Doodly. Thanks for watching. <laughs>